Japan, Hadron Collider. Oh, no. <laughs> This is not going to be good news. Yeah, I don't tend to bring it up uh, when it is good news. Uh, Just give it time, although, mate. Although There's I haven't bugs had the it. opportunity because there hasn't been any good news out of the Hadron Collider. Andy, it's a lot more complicated than just putting some chemicals in a paper mache volcano and watching it froth out the top as it faux burns innocent civilians that run from the volcano. Okay, well, you, it's not a science project that's easily done. Well, you'd hope so because they've already spent four point six billion dollars on this. Cool. Thing. They're just looking for some ultimate answers about the universe. This is ridiculous. Stop ridiculous. having a go at them. All right, Ham. Since this thing started in 2008, yeah. nothing. Yeah, teething it's done, problems. It's done nothing. And it's a, a waste of money. They're recreating. Do you know how many hovercrafts to... we could have bought and it's hoverboards? Not the we... way you should measure scientific expenditure. <laughs> well, I think it is. <laughs> no, it's not. What? We could buy so much cool stuff with that six, four point six billion dollars. Jack's yes. nodding. Yes, <laughs> yeah. could have. And rather than build... The Apollo rockets. We could have all got cool hats. Great. I'll have one. (laughs) But we we got to the moon. Who cares? We didn't do anything with it. You know, the internet started because of a system they put in place to get people to the moon. No. I didn't know that. There you go. There's one development. Do you enjoy the internet? Well, stay down here, create the internet. Don't say anything. They didn't know about it. It was an accident. Well, (laughs) develop time into doing that kind of stuff (laughs) instead of sending people away. The point is. You sent out to do these scientific things. You never know where it'll be, where it'll lead, but you do it for the for the sake of achievement, of accomplishment, furthering our scientific horizons. Yeah, well, they've cost us four point six billion. They haven't cost us anything. You're not <laughs> paying for it. <laughs> yeah. We could it's be the buying Swiss. better stuff. Imagine the amount of chip flavors we could. Yes, produce. Andy. Uh, the four point, I think what we can agree on is four point <laughs> six billion dollars could buy some terrific things, yeah. and we could sit here all day yeah. naming things that we would like to have. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if they do find out something about the beginning of the universe, that will also be a fun thing to have Why? for humanity. Yes, you can't unwrap it on Christmas morning. It, that's not going to help us any, any way at all. Anyway, they're trying to collide particles, and they haven't got it anywhere near it. And the recent... <laughs> this is the report Why don't they today. just strap them to the bonnet of two cars and drive into <laughs> each other? Well, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, It would actually be more successful um, than anything they've done to date. Here's a statement from CERN, yep. the guys in charge, <laughs> yes. the European Organisation of Nuclear Research. I've never met take, anyone so they, anti a science experiment. They should definitely take out the R of their organisation. They're not doing any research whatsoever. <laughs> they're, they're the Sand. European Organisation of Nuclear sitting around and doing nothing and spending a heap of coin. How many, I don't know what the acronym is for that. How many times has Funny Cat been YouTubed <laughs> at that workplace? Hey, here's the statement. Yeah. On Tuesday the 3rd of November, this is an official statement, a bird carrying a baguette bread caused a short circuit in the electrical outdoor installation that serves sectors 7, 8 and 8, 1 of the Large Hadron Collider. Everyone's against them. It got shut down by a bird. They're not saying it's invincible. (laughs) Sometimes birds will shut down experiments. A bird eating a piece of bread has brought this thing to its knees. It's not not armoured. Like no one's no one's saying, hey, the Hadron Collider could beat anything in the world. It's a delicate bird. It's not meant to beat a bird. And the bird's snacking. Andy thinks a shotgun beats a bird, but they're not trying to build something to beat a bird. They're trying to build a very delicate piece of machinery. It's costing them money to get it up and running again now. More money because they didn't have chicken wire around it or something. But Think, people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to tell the world's top nuclear physicists to think, alright? They have succeeded in something. How many bread molecules were collided with that power station when the bird dropped the baguette? They, <laughs> Trillions. They said, though, they've come out and said that the, uh, the bird escaped unharmed. There we go. But lost its bread. Another, add that to the $4.6 billion bill and a baguette.